30,000 is the minimum wage approved by the Nigerian federal government for the public and the private sectors. Now, one may be wondering, 30,000, how do you survive with 30,000 Naira, especially in Nigeria of today? Surely it is unthinkable. I'm sure so many people will be wondering, what is this girl talking about? But don't worry, wait for it. So 30,000 Naira in Nigeria, can it do anything for you? Can you cope with 30,000 Naira? That's the question, yeah? But here is something. It is possible to survive with 30,000 Naira right here in Nigeria. And I'm going to tell you how you're going to survive that way. Now, to survive on a 30,000 Naira per month, here are some things you need to do. The number one thing is to trim your feeding habit. You need to trim the way you eat. Do not be gluttonous. Chop, 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 chop. You eat everything you see. You need to trim it down. In fact, you need to imitate those on a diet. I did not say you should go and keto, but it may take those on a diet. What that means is you need to cut down on your three square meals a day. Try to do some mini fasting in between. Do not spend so much on expensive snacks and drinks. 30,000 Naira will not support these things. So to survive, you need to trim your feeding habit. Try to cook soups that are cheap. Yes. You get three to four thousand naira pot of soup. I'm sure it's going to last you by the time you freeze them. Get some things down, some tubers of yam and rice and all that. It will help you instead of eating so much. The number 13. Save for your rent. Rent is very important. As you're planning your savings and everything you're doing, your spending and everything, rent is critical. From that 30,000 Naira, you can decide to save 5,000, 6,000, or 10,000. It depends on the kind of apartment that you're living in. If it's the type we call face me, I face you, which is a one room and then a shared facility, then you need to save between six to 10,000 Naira where you pay either monthly or quarterly. Right. The number three thing you need to do is watch your clothing. How do you buy things? Your jewelries, your clothes, your shoes. You should not be going to the big boutiques to get these things. You will spend all your money shopping. You don't need that. There is something we call our Krika. That's the second hand used clothes, bend down boutiques. Do not look at them that they are so common. They are, no, go there. I do that at times. It does not cost me anything. In fact, I save more and I get good quality things from them. Okay, so go there, get some, wash them thoroughly with well scented soaps and detergents, and then do some good ironing and you're okay. So do not spend so much trying to get the best jewelry, trying to get the best 30,000 naira. We not support that. So if you must survive, you need to watch how you spend on your clothing. The next thing is your transportation. That's the number four thing you need to watch out for. Your transportation, especially to work. Where do you work? Is your home closer to your place of work? If not, then that's where the problem is. Do not forget about people who, there are some people who stay at Sangot and then they are working at Leki, or those who stay in Festac Town and coming down to maybe Moweba for something. They spend so much on transportation, like 2,000 Naira or more. It will not support you. Try to get jobs that are proximal to your home. With that, you can cut down on your transportation costs. Or at best, try to do some trekkings in between, trek from one spot to the other before you hop on the next bike. Number five, you need to tame your appetite. Yes, 
Learn to be stingy, my brothers, my sisters. Learn to be stingy. Yes. It does not matter. They can call you Uncle Owa Kagon, which is an Igbo translation for stingy uncle or somebody who is extremely stingy. It does not matter. Just see it as, well, a survival matrix or you're just um, trying to cut down on your benevolent side. They will not come to your aid by the time you run to some of them who you are trying to impress. They will tell you they don't have money. So to survive on 30,000 Naira a month, you need to tame your appetite and do that quickly. Do not be so fast to try to copy your friends who are working big time and are collecting good money. You will get there someday, I trust. Number six, get other means of making money. They are also called side hustles. Yes, try to get some other means. You can survive on a 30,000 Naira alone, let's be frank. So you have to try to juggle between your normal job and some other things by the side. You can put in two or three hours. In fact, to make it safer, you can go online. There are so many of these jobs that are online. So you do it quickly and you get your money and you move on, right? Now, if you're wondering if these things work, they do work. I know so many people who are just doing, well, not too fine, but they are surviving on 30,000 Naira every month. Let's quickly take a recap on how to survive on 30,000 Naira minimum wage. Number one, you need to trim your feeding habits to save for your rent, watch your clothing, look out for your transportation, tame your appetite or get other means of making money don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the notification bell to get notified when we upload new videos follow us on all our social media platforms and log on to www.primebusiness.africa for breaking news and in-depth analysis of socio-economic issues all across africa i remain esther your girl and this is prime business Hacks.